Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th, Monday through Thursday. Now, you know that I'm using my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I am going to pull one from my Radley Valentine Guardian Angel cards, and I will finish up with my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Now, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message, whatever it is. Now, remember on the 27th, we are, Mercury is going retrograde. A lot of karma energy going on. A lot of weird stuff going on with Libra energy. And if you've watched, I think I posted something on my last blog that Libra energy, it's not going to be as we always expect Libras to be. So it's going to be a little bit interesting. Now, why don't we just get started with our readings? Oh, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. You keep my channel going by doing that. Thank you. Hello, my Leos. How are you? Well, let's see what this week's going to be all about. Mercury going retrograde. I mean, you know, we've been in the shadow, the pre, now it truly is going retrograde. Let's see what that has to do with the universe. What's, you know, what's the universe going to be bringing? Okay, let's one more shuffle here. Okay, one, two, and three. Three cards are face down. Nothing is reversed. Reversed has a little stronger energy, but here we go. First card is keeping balance. Twos are some choices, so you might be needing to clean out your closet. You might be needing to clean out your emotional your karmic type of energies, okay? Because there's something that might not necessarily be in the balance that for you that you want it to be in. Remember, Libra has that balance, but remember, if you if you read the uh, my little blog thing, it's like Libra's energies, it's kind of like, duh, type of thing. And then it just kind of does that shaking until it comes back into balance. But there could be some choices that you need to make in your work, job, career, your home, in order for you to come to balance, to find some balance. Now, Ariel is our Earth energy. It is our Capricorn. It is our Taurus. It's our Virgo energy. Something to do with your home, your job, your money. Again, this is you looking for achieving. This is you creating a new balance. Okay. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. And with that balance, it's also important for you to have some boundaries, okay? Next card, the nine of Raphael. So now we have a two and a nine. Nine has the wrap-up. Nine has, you've got everything you need right now. Raphael is the water energy. It is cups. It is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. The nine of Raphael is the wish card. And that might be something that happens for you with that two of Ariel to help you to bring about the, the balance per se. But the nine of Raphael is to make a wish, is to put this out into the universe, to put this out into higher power, guardian angels, whoever that is for you. So this has this is like big stuff. This is big stuff, especially since I feel that, you know, Mercury retrograde, any of the Mercury retrogrades, but especially now because we're coming to that thinning of the veil, this is a time to really put it out to the metaphysical world, your wish. What is it that you really want? Here we are. You have to identify what it is, though. Make a wish. Dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. Your last card here, the moon. So again, we have that metaphysical thing going on. Now, this is an 18, so we have a 1. New beginning, 10, transition, 8, unlimited opportunities, possibilities. The moon is Archangel Heniel. Now, the moon has things that are hidden. The moon is all metaphysical. The moon has that, you know, that, that stuff, you, you know, no matter what phase it's in, we only see one side of the moon. We never see the other side. There are things going on behind the scenes. I was just talking about how that veil is getting thinner and thinner. 
So, you know, again, it goes back to keeping balance, trying to, and it also the balance could also be not just in your physical life, it could be between your physical and your metaphysical. But again, I do get some boundaries happening with the, with, with the two of Ariel, but then we get the wish card saying make a wish, make it big, put it out there, dreams are possible. The moon has this very strong supernatural metaphysical edge to it also. So this is the moon talks about the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears, and grow stronger. So there, you know, this this kind of has a being a little bit afraid of success type of energy to it. Sometimes we're we're afraid of succeeding. You know, I don't know, possibly, I don't know. But we, 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 everybody has a little fear of such, you know, fear of success. Some people can overcome it and go after whatever it is that they've been wanting. But again, it says face your fears. Face your fears and grow stronger. Let's go on now to the guardian angels. I like those cards. So we have a 2, 9, 1, 8. Now also the 1, 8 is also another 9, you know, if you add it together. But, oh, and there's a card that flew out. Now, but the thing is, sometimes the numbers reverse. So eight, one, nine, two. Okay, let's see what that is here. Oh, okay. I like this one. We have six of abundance. Six is the number of man. It's what you put into the energies. Abundance is, is our um, earth energy. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you'll have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. Consider volunteering for a charitable organizations. Well, I like that. An unexpected gift is on its way. Hmm. Lots of interesting stuff for us, uh, for Leos, next week, or I should say, the, what is it, the 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. Okay, let's go on with, with crystal or energy for my Leos. But yeah, I like that. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance. I'll accept it. Okay, here we go. Amber. Amber is a lovely, lovely energy. It's harmony, home protection, calm, attracts love so my leos what are you wishing for lots of stuff happening here okay my leos remember the button like share subscribe click on the bell notifications because you keep my channel moving and keep it growing and keep me on air thank you for that as always this is the most important part though my leos no matter what the world throws at us always remember Always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.